Welcome back, all you beautiful people, right here to your Feel Good Breakfast show on SABC3. Now, yesterday, a sea of black washed over our social media timelines as those who are frustrated and really disheartened by the state of police brutality in the United States followed the lead of those in the music and entertainment industry who declared yesterday as Blackout Tuesday. Now, to understand how we ended up here, let's take a look at a timeline of events that started last week, Monday. Yeah, so on the 25th of May, George Floyd, a 46 six-year-old black man died in Minneapolis, Minnesota after being handcuffed and pinned to the ground by Derek Chauvin, a white police officer. Now, video footage captured by bystanders shows Chauvin using his knee to pin Blo uh, Floyd by the neck for almost nine minutes while Floyd repeatedly said he couldn't breathe. Now, this became the driving force for protests that started in Minneapolis the next day, which quickly grew to other cities, including Los Angeles and Memphis. And back in Minneapolis, where they started, the peaceful protests began turning violent as fires and looting broke out and cops attempted to disperse crowds with rubber bullets and tear gas. Now, by the 28th, the National Guard had been mobilized in Minnesota and various other states, uh, while Justice Department said that a federal investigation into Floyd's death was a top priority. And on the 29th, former officer Chauvin was arrested and charged with third-degree murder. Now, by this point, however, tensions have risen past the point of uh, prosecution to a greater discussion about social inequ uh, racial inequality rather, in America. And following further unrest and multiple arrests of protesters over the weekend, the music industry on Monday announced that it would be going silent and stopping business on Tuesday to call attention to protest efforts to reflect and to find ways to make a real change. And many others have followed suit asking or adding the hashtags blackout Tuesday and hashtag the show must be paused in a, a moment uh, the internet was just caught up in this gripping somber emotion and everything just kind of seemed to stop and halt um, in recognition of what is going on what is a very very important topic to be focusing on discussing and to find a resolution to where racism stops because it's just been so many, many years, decades, centuries, um, and, and people have just had enough. And it's, it's just, we, we're caught up, Jamie Lee, in a very heavy situation right now. And we've seen, um, you know, in the latest reports uh, about what is happening with protesters all around the United States. And all this, you know, while um, the late Mr. George Floyd's family is, is mourning the death of, you know, a provider, a family man, um, it must be incredibly difficult for them, and uh, this has just sparked uh, a very important conversation. Absolutely, absolutely. Our hearts are filled with so much, you know, it, I, I've just been an emotional wreck since last week, Monday, and just to see everyone yesterday stand in solidarity with this and using their platforms to educate and understand why this is happening and understand that this is a movement, and we all need to understand that black lives do matter. So. Continue having these conversations with yourself, but also not just on social media. Once that social media is gone, are you still using your platforms and understanding what is happening in and around the world? So yeah. yesterday, Blackout Tuesday was hectic, and let us continue having this conversation. Well, let's do that right now and gain a better understanding of the issues at hand. Uh, Tabiso is with Kaya Dranga.